Hello everybody, today I'm going to show you my photo cell collection. And these are just the twist and lock photo cells. So let's get started. This one is a touch and glow. It is 120 volts and was made in China. There's the front of it. And there's its date code. This one is a long join. It is 120 volt. It was made in Shanghai, China. There's the front of it. And its date code. This one is also a long join. It was made in Shanghai, China. It is the same type as the last one, so it's 120 volts. And there is its date code. Now this is the kind of photo cell that you will get if you buy a Cooper lighting fixture like at um, some big box store. This one is a Long John. It is made in Shanghai, China. It is 120 volts. But this one is a lot older than the others. And its date code is 026. This came with an older Cooper lighting fixture. This one is a uh, designer's edge. It is 120 volts. And it came with a designer's edge high pressure sodium fixture. And its date code is 086. This one does not have a name on it, but it is also 120 volts. And I think it was made by the designer's edge. This one is also made in China. There's the front of it. And its date code is 077. This one is an area lighting research. It is um, 120 volts and I think it was made in the USA. And here is its date code. This one is an Intermatic. It is 120 volts to one, or sorry, excuse me, 277 volts. So it can handle either of those voltages or anything in between, I think. But here's the front of it. And it does not really have a date code on it. But there's probably one somewhere. This one this one is a Fisher Pierce photo cell. It is 120 volts. And there is its date code. This one is also a Fisher Pierce. And it was made in the USA. There's the front of it. And there's its date code. It is for 105 to 130 volt fixtures. This one is an area lighting research photo cell. It is 120 volts. There's the front of it. And its date code should be right here, but it's kind of rubbed off. This one is also an area lighting research. It is 120 volts. There's the front of it. And there's its date code. This one is also an area lighting research. It is 120 volt. There's the front of it. And its date code is under there. It's kind of really hard to this see. This one is a GE, and I really don't know if this is really a photo cell or not. But we'll put it in this video. There's the bottom of it. It's kind of interesting. This one is a Lumatural. I hope I said that right. And is a Mark II. It is 230 volts or 220. And there's the bottom of it. Here's the same thing. It's also 220 volts. But this one I took the top off so you can see the insides. This can be adjusted to let however much light you would like into the fixture. 
so it will turn on either later or earlier. This is an Intermatic photocell. I got this one brand new. There's the top of it. It is for 120 volts. There's the front. And there's the bottom. This one is a Fisher Pierce. It is for 105 to 130 volt fixtures. This is its box. This came with my 150 watt Neuralco area light, which you've probably seen. And here it is. It's 120 volt. Well, I already said that. And there's all the information. The last one. I think is the best one. It is a area lighting research. It is 120 volt. And this little sticker down here was on the photo cell, but I took it off so it would stay good and not fall apart. But here's the photo cell itself. It is in really good condition. It's 120 volts. And there's the front of it. And there's its date code. So, there you go. Hope you enjoyed. Please tell me what you think about them in the comments below. Thank you.